Hi, my name's Levi, and you're watching the Charlie Beach channel. Thanks, Levi. No problem. Okay, well, welcome back to Liverpool. It's uh, such a beautiful city, and uh, having spent four days in Amsterdam, I, I see the similarities between the docks of Amsterdam and the docks of Scouserland. Anyway, this lady's lost her contact lens. I offered to help, but she ignored me. She's uh, deep in a private act of finding her contact lenses. Welcome to the main drag. It's a bit windy, so let me do some cupping. Nowadays in my videos, I like to include just a few seconds, or maybe a dozen or so seconds of just looking at people. It's uh, interesting to see how people dress, how they act, because when you review these videos in 20, 30, 40, 50 years time, you're going to be like, wow, 2024, look how old fashioned they are, especially in Scouserland. Enjoy the wind for a second and I'll cup it. That's without cupping. That's with cupping. Does that make a difference? Wait till you see the lighting on the carousel. Oh! Nice day for a walk around Liverpool. It's not windy at all. It's not I am the egg man, it's I am the egg boat. Think of the the kind of packages you could smuggle out of Colombia on that bad boy. There's a running meme on, well, since The Sopranos, the TV show, that uh, if Tony Soprano asks you to go for a ride on his boat, that one, it's uh, probably a bad sign. Hey, Tony! Much like we saw in Amsterdam with the Stroopwafels for 13 euros 50, here Rough Handmade Boutique Bakery has featured, has featured on Normie TikTok, Normie social media, so they're all queuing. And the pigeon's a clever boy, he's uh, waiting smartly to get in on the action because half these people won't even like the sourdough breads that they're going to buy here. Uh, just off the main drag, the Albert Dock's pizza experience was a failure. The hipsters would not serve us. What's up with this Volvo? I hope that's a real cop. <laughs> Still windy, windy, windy. No, Lord. I've heard there's a pro-Palestine protest gathering thing here in uh, Derby Square up there. And I already see the yellow submarine police van, so I must be in the right place. We all police in the yellow Mercedes van. Under the Spanish flamenco guitar. There's someone getting rid of the evidence down the drain. Well, well, if I didn't hear the familiar sounds of the tacit pro Hamas uh, cosplayers, costume players. Oh, they got a new one. Cease fire now. Okay, maybe give the hostages back. Maybe give the babies back. No, no, just hope they want to torture those uh, Jewish families with uh, psychological terror. Oh, okay. Listen to the repetitive, mindless chanting. It's the people who think if they shout at you, they win the argument. Well, let's perch here. Let's have a perch and have a look. You think they mean ceasefire now? the back of the march now, there's about maybe 700 of them. The, um, the march in Manchester yesterday, oh thank you, the march yesterday in Manchester was a damp squib. I checked the news around it, no drama, and I bet they were looking for me. Sorry for my absence. Irish flags everywhere, the Irish love standing up for, sorry, let me rephrase, certain types of Irish people like standing up for this sort of thing. I'm not painting all the Irish with the same brush. Plenty of Irishmen I've met and liked. You know they're not too bad in Liverpool. 
unlike the uh, rager halls in uh, Manchester who need dozens of cops. Here they've got two cops standing at the back and they're not even near the protest. There's a van down there, there's a, a happy doggy, police liaison. Let me cup that microphone. Oh, a photo with me! Oh, I'm not worthy, but thank you. How come you're around there? There's some uh, pro uh, Hamas uh, cosplayers down there, so just getting a shot. So uh, just off camera viewers, two amazing people with great taste. What a photograph of me! Can you believe it? I'm so honored. Okay, we're at the back. Yeah, it's still estimate about 700 of them. It's uh, interesting to see uh, a gathering of so many and, you know, emotionally charged, which nothing wrong with being emotionally charged, I'm not criticizing that, but emotionally charged people do tend to lash out a bit more than those who are serene like a Hindu cow. So, as I was saying, yeah, it's surprising to see so many emotionally charged people without a large police presence. <laughs> Maybe they're a bit more peaceful here in Liverpool. Maybe there's less uh, extremist uh, places of worship pumping out. Um, bad ideology. Like we know the, the Manchester Arena uh, man was uh, he was praying at the Didsbury Mosque in South Manchester, quite a posh area, but they exposed that mosque as uh, oh, they're, they're shouting at McDonald's. Here we go, they're shouting at Macca's. Anyone, fa anyone fancy a chicken mayo? Oh wait, they're angry at McDonald's. They're very angry. There you go. Your prophets are covered in delicious beef oil. I'm just doing a kind of journal of the day. Why boycott McDonald's? If I could get a sound bite from you. Sorry? If I could get a quick 10 seconds. I don't know who you are. You don't, no, just, just press, I could amplify your message. Oh, I thought you guys wanted uh, publicity and support. I don't know who you are, I'm a human being, I'm stood right in front of you. My, my name's Charlie, I'm... Anyway, with that attitude, uh, yeah, good luck, bro. See that? That's what they're like. Hello, sir. How are you? Let me shake your hand. How's it going? I just tried to get a soundbite off one of the chanters, and he goes, no, sorry, I don't know who you are. I said, no, I can amplify your message. He's like, no, sorry. I said, I'm, I'm literally stood in front of you. My name's Charlie. You know who I am. No, no, sorry. I said, well, good luck with your protest. <sighs> anyway, all the best, man. Take care. See you. No borders, no walls. These are the kind of people that would uh, stop convicted uh, people from being deported, I guess. Hello, mate. How are you? Thanks. Yeah, watch oh, good. Videos, oh, you watch my videos? Yeah, good, man. Yeah, Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Good. I'm, I'm subscribed. Yeah, I like, yeah. I like uh, because I know the it's corruption and all. Yeah. Police corruption. I got assaulted by police of to snatch phone off my hand. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, de depends on the circumstances. But yeah, look into it, man. Like, they shouldn't come, be. He was walking toward me, yeah. Yeah. I was videoing. Yeah. And he went to, uh, and he said, uh, before he identify himself, first thing he did is snatch my phone. Oh, yeah, I that's said, assault. Yeah, said, you can't, you they can't just smack people's phones, bef you know. Yeah. I you could have had a, a perfectly reasonable reason for, for filming, yeah, yeah. They detained me for 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Yeah, 40 minutes on the farm, then they released me, then they gave me tickets for it. He said, you see them be riding on the bike in here? I said, oh, you didn't tell me that first. Yeah. You know what I mean? That showed corruption. That, I got a single claim against them anyway. Well, good luck, man, yeah, and God you. bless, man. Yeah. Take care. See ya. See ya, man. All the best. Yeah, from what I could hear on the story, if the police's opening move is to smack your phone out of your hand, I can put the guy in touch with a good lawyer. Where there's blame, there's a claim. His phone did look smashed up. Oh, there's someone being arrested. I need to get through there. Sorry. Free, free! Alistair! 
Oh, but from the look of it, he might be a counter protester. Oh, God. Let's see, who's this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Will do. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. So uh, he's been handcuffed, so they believe he's uh, a physical. I hope this isn't for show to make the protesters feel good. I have no idea what's from going on, but I believe he said something to the crowd and the police have arrested him. Yeah. Oh wait, he's here with a Union Jack. No guys, the optics of police arresting the guy with a Union Jack. Can I ask, sir? Did you say anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've moved back. I can still, I can still speak to your prisoner, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, just think of the the optics and the politics of this nation. You don't want to start a civil war, arresting an Englishman for flying a Union Jack, when there's people here literally tacitly supporting the October seventh bums. Sir, did you say any slogans? Yeah. No worries. Thank you. Oh my God, poor guy. Poor guy. He's just for waving a Union Jack, he got arrested. Actually, I don't know if he got arrested for that. I'm not going to create drama from when there isn't some. But one thing I do know is a fact: there was a man here. Oh, good, but don't scrunch up the Union Jack like that. Well, I don't know the full story, but I don't think he needs to be handcuffed. He seems like he's a fine British patriot. But, um, I don't know. You shouldn't scrunch up the flag like toilet paper like that. I don't think that's correct. Anyway, let me cover this. All the best, madam. Yeah. If I join in Yemen, right, I'll be dead. Yeah. I'll be dead. Yeah. This doesn't look good, guys. Doesn't look good. Obviously, I don't know the full details. I don't know what he shouted, but it's an Englishman speaking his mind on a English street, and he's been handcuffed and treated like a a very dangerous individual. And this doesn't help the public view that the police are just. Oh, he's talking about you. He's talking about you. This is the guy who had the phone smashed by the police. Poor guy. Who, me? No, just a YouTuber, nothing. Mate, they're supporting Hamas terrorists everywhere, mate. Yeah, yeah. Hello, mate, how are you? Oh, good. Thank you very much. Okay, they've gathered in Derby Square here outside the courts. Just off camera, a lady carrying a baby. Very normal looking lady. She's like, do you think that guy should not have been arrested? I said, yeah. She said, yeah, but you ran through the crowd waving a flag, like scaring them. I said, well, running through a crowd with a flag isn't an arrestable offense. And she's like, well, they should be. They're all here, like, trying to fight genocide, and you came to ruin it. I said, ultimately, it's an Englishman running around. Running, these two have just noticed me. Here we go. Here we go. They've just noticed me. Oh, yeah. Hello. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Nice to meet you guys. You're right. Yeah. Oh, good. Surprising we still have to come out and protest genocide. I know. I know. I know. But um, I hope you guys won't hate me when if I think that this is a bit wrong. Like the, the conflict's been going for a long time, 75 years. 
there was an element of peace before Hamas stormed the border and killed a thousand people for no reason. And when you look at the the um, the ratios of population, that would be like someone going to central London and killing thirty thousand people. So perhaps as report, reported another Israeli news agency, yeah. most of the people were killed by by trigger happy Israelis. But that's been debunked and that's I simply not I true. Seen, I haven't seen that at all. So are you telling me that the best trained military see, force we're, on earth well, would indiscriminately shoot civilians in a kibbutz in Israel? You should see a tank shooting a house in Oh no, I've seen tanks shoot houses, but a tank will have to shoot a house for a million reasons. Hey, if it's full of Hamas fighters with RPGs. I mean, I'm an oh, no. military myself. Excellent, but, you, but will you, are you disputing that on October 7th, no, Hamas no, fighters no. massacred I, a lot I of children? Tried, no. But do you not feel, like, thank you for watching my channel and I appreciate your free speech, but do you not feel that you shouldn't be tacitly supporting Hamas? I'm not supporting Hamas. Because you know the I'm, very... I'm supporting the ceasefire. Yeah, but a ceasefire while they keep the hostages? That sounds a bit crazy. 7,000 hostages in Israel. Well, you mean prisoners who've been convicted boys, of... Uh, boys throwing a stone at a tank. Well, no, no, I don't think they got... Con if They've you got throw children. a stone at a person's head, you can kill them. If you, if you, you should you, not throw stones at people. If, at a tank, it's a different story. The tribal were political solutions. Yeah. But even Netanyahu's admitted the two states thing he's been... Stopping it the, I will agree. The Palestinians have ruined any chance of no, of a two-state solution no, could they? by killing a lot of babies. No, yeah, they killed a lot of babies. They did, on October seventh. You can't dispute that. There wasn't, what, are you talking about the beheadings? No, that just the, that was the bung, that was a lie, wasn't it? Because so you mean those baby corpses with a missing skull? They're, they've not been. They've, there's no evidence of that at all. Uh, anyway, thank you for your time. Okay. All the best, mate, and good, enjoy the free speech. And thank you for watching. And it, keep up the free speech. That's the most important thing. Yeah, cheers, guys. Anyway. He doesn't believe that any babies died on October the 7th. Oh well. These countries all cut their funding effective immediately. And complicity against genocide is as active as it promised. And halting aid to a nation dying from preventable diseases that are spreading fast to a starving, And I'll say it once again. These people are all wrong. They're all wrong. They, they have a, the spirit of resentment, the spirit of Bolshevism. They want to turn the moral foundation of this nation upside down and they dare to call for a ceasefire when there's Israeli babies being held. It's amazing. Just bring the hostages home, then we can talk ceasefire. Disband Hamas, then we can talk ceasefire. Until then, you're all tacit Hamas supporters. Are you a militant? Yeah, yeah, I'm a militant. Good man. Oh, all video. Yeah, all video. Are you? Oh, good man. It's a lot more interesting than a photo, I find. Yeah. I think so as well, yeah. Thanks, baby. And this is like the first time I've been just getting this so like. Oh, nice. Sony A7. Very nice. What, what lens have you got on it? I oh, know it's still a good one. Yeah, is it 24 yeah. to 105? Yeah, yeah. Oh, some good zoom on that. Oh, very good. I'm only on a 20 to 60. Oh, really? But it's quite good. Cool. Enjoy your photons, man. All the best. I was just gonna ask what, what, uh, yeah, go on. What should this be the issue? What's the what? What should this be the issue? I'm doing well. I'm doing a shutter angle of 180, um, f11 stop. We've got ISO auto, and the white balance is on auto as well. I just want to say I'm so happy to see the LGBT representation. Slay Queen. Oh yeah, what did the guy say to you? Um, he just came up to me and shouted, do you think Hamas would support that flag? Well, he, he kind of has a point. We know Hamas would throw the gays off the rooftops, but it's good to see the LGBT yeah, representation. Well, that makes 30,000 fine then. No but, but, no, but one thing we can both agree on, the, the Hamases need to allow more gay. They need to let more gay. Check out the dead babies. That is so stunning and so brave. Look at that, she stood atop a Queen Victoria monument in a free and open democratic country. That is brave. That, 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 takes, that takes ovaries to do that.